okie okie doke weekly wrap up i only have one thing to talk about but i'm probably gonna go on at length about it so let's start this off with a book haul bought a few books this week um let's just go Frontier by Grace Curtis. Um, I read uh, Floating Hotel by Grace Curtis earlier this year and I really loved it. So when I saw Frontier, um, it looks like a sp uh, space western. I enjoyed her writing and I was like, just, just get it. So I just grabbed it. So I'm excited about this. Next, I got Everfair by Nisi Shawl. This is the Tor Essentials line. Uh, so Tor Essentials are just coming out with uh, newly published versions of forgotten essential sci-fi and fantasy and I'm thinking part of me kind of wants to start collecting these just to expand my horizons because while I do read broadly within sci-fi and fantasy I don't read far back so like seeing this essentially it's like um a reimagining of Belgium's disastrous colonization of the Congo and it kind of becomes like a alternate history going kind of into, I believe, kind of steampunky. So um, just so interested in this. Like I saw this when they came out with it in the Essentials line. I was like, never heard of this, never heard of this author. What else am I missing? <laughs> so um, uh, this was my first grab and I'm kind of thinking of starting to really dig into the Tour Essentials line. So um, that'll be exciting. Next. Um, uh, <laughs> I got a bunch of Dan May. <laughs> so I do have two volumes of Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, which I enjoy. I do need to read volume two, but then I have friends on, you know, in my book club and we're all, they're all reading Dan May and everybody's reading it and I want to be part of it. And I am interested in reading more. So um, I took some recommendations. So first I grabbed The Scum Villains Self-Saving System. Uh... I, I, I'm not really going to go into these. If you want to look them up, look them up. It's just they're all essentially uh, Chinese gay um, romances all set in this era, um, historical kind of wuxia era. So um, Scum Villain Self-Saving System. And then as I was wandering around uh, Barnes & Noble looking at stuff, the guy who was working in the manga section, because he's usually, you know, shelved around the manga, he saw me holding this and he was like, oh, I love that. You know, have you read... Uh, Thousand Autumns and I was like no what tell me more so he told me about it slow burn romance so I was like you know what he was so enthusiastic about scum villain and then he also said this is his favorite Dan May and I was like okay um why not so I grabbed it and then third uh, one of my friends is reading I grabbed Ballad of Sword and Wine do I have an idea of the, what this is not really just um my friend's reading it so I decided to grab it so um three volumes of Dan May. Really, I just want to try it out, see what I like best, and then probably dig into that one series. And then also continue Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation because I should, and that's the first one that I started. So um, that's what I've got, three volumes. Um, I feel like this is going to be easy reading, especially after what the book I'm going to talk about has done to my brain. So that's nice. Next, ex excitingly, I got Blood of the Old Kings from Tor. They so kindly um, asked if I wanted a finished copy of this, and I said yes. I just got the e arc last week, and I already started reading it, and got the chance to get the finished copy, so I'm now reading out of this. This is a basic epic fantasy translated from Korean. Uh, it's by Sung Il Kim. I actually talked about this in my October anticipated releases, so you know, I don't know. It's so cool that I got a finished copy. So I'm um, already reading this. I've literally only been introduced to our three main characters, but I'm kind of enjoying, you know, seeing where we're going with this. There's, I'm intrigued, very intrigued by what's happening. So i um, excited. This is going to be my main focus right now because it comes out on October 8th, which is only in a few days. And I try to be timely with my arcs. So um, this is what I'm focusing on. And I'm very excited. This is like my first physical finished copy from a publisher like that's so that's so cool it's just so cool okay so I've only finished one thing since uh I wrapped up my monthly wrap-up and um that is Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson um all of the problems that I had with Words of Radiance happened here and I feel like at this point that's just a me thing because I go into Goodreads hundreds thousands of five star readings i go to any fantasy subreddit everybody loves it you know i do see posts where people don't like it which like i feel seen but also like 
people love this people fucking love this they love every page of the i okay book three i have read probably what 3500 pages 3500 pages in three books and like i said when i finished words of radiance um when i read the way of kings i was excited i was excited by everything going on and it was new it was cool the sander Lanch happened in the last 200 pages it was exciting great stuff was happening went to words of radiance and it took me a couple months to read it and i think for me a lot of what is happening is that it's not new anymore it's not a new world anymore and even though words of radiance and oathbringer have opened cracked open the world some more <clears throat> i just they're just exhausting it's exhausting to read that many pages it's a slog for me personally because i like the world but i don't like it enough to read this much about it i really don't and unfortunately like yeah the last 200 100 pages were really cool there were some amazing moments out there you know some payoff you know with um everything that happens towards the end of it but then there's like the slog of like did we have to read the entire part of them in shades mar like 80 percent of that didn't need to happen like i understand the world building that's happening the character growth that's happening but did we need like 80 percent of that i don't think we did there and i just feel that way about so much of this and to those who love this world, just purely love this world and love being in this world, I can understand why they have no problem with it. I can understand why every scene is here, but do the scenes need to be so long? Like, that's essentially my issue with this. And at this point, I am going to put the series down because I just don't see it getting any better. I am not as attached to the world as most readers of this series are, so I really don't want to put myself through reading another 1200 pages for um rhythm of war and then she joined in on wind and truth which i think is like 1300 pages i can't do it <laughs> i think about it and my brain just wants to cry um i i just kind of i pushed through the last like 500 pages of this just to say i read it because there's no 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 way that i was 900 pages into uh Oathbringer and DNFing it. There was no way. I'm a, I'm a DNFer. I'm a big believer in DNFing. I do it all the time. I DNF books I don't even talk about here because I just stop them real early. But after 900 pages, there's no way I was doing it. Like just out of spite, I finished it. But um, that's, but the thing is like, I didn't hate this. I didn't dislike it. I liked it. There's so many moments that I liked. I just, I didn't want to, I don't want to read an extra like 500 pages just to get there i think 500 pages of the book could have been cut and i felt that way about uh words of radiance as well i just so i am so sorry to everybody who loves these books with all their heart and i'm so happy f f uh, you know for you and i'm actually quite jealous of you because i would love to love these books with all my heart and enjoy every single page that i'm reading but i just don't and it's not a good time and it kind of made me resent reading a little bit so i know when i start feeling like that i'm just like no we're, we're not gonna do this so unfortunately i am dropping a uh, stormlight archives i read the wikipedia page and the whole plot summary for rhythm of war and i was like yeah i i i wouldn't have been cool with reading another 1200 pages to get that so that's that's been my journey with Stormlight Archive, probably my journey with Brandon Sanderson, to be completely honest. Um, I remember I tried reading Mistborn over the last 15, 10 years, maybe. I tried three times and gave up three times. I liked Skyward, the first book. That was cool. But yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, we're done. Um, happy partings with Brandon Sanderson. I gave it a good old try. I read 35 ish 100 pages and i <laughs> we're done that's all i got like i said only one book that is it um i am focusing this week on reading a blood of the old kings uh just to get it out there because i do have an art copy so i want to get that out for review and um yeah i have no idea what i want to read this week this month um i uh, i do have a idea in mind so i Okay, I do have a vague TBR, but we'll see how I feel. I'm such a mood reader, so I may start this project and then give up on it. So, which is why I don't like creating TBRs or anything like that. But the, what can you do? 
Um, as always, thank you for watching. If you would like to leave an emoji, you can leave a dragon or something similar to that book cover. And I will catch you next time.